Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Some more continuity. Now that we've captured the food thief, who isn't Captain Olimar at all, it's his sidekick, Louis. Louis seems to be in rough shape. He looks dirty, tired, kind of out of it. So something must have happened to him that was really bad. I mean, he went through the traumatic incident of being captured by the Scorn at Maestro. And now he's been separated from Captain Olimar. And all he could think about was trying to steal our juice buffer. And we saw part of their ship. It was on the outside of the arena while we fought the Quergerd Lurk. And, you know, it must have really spurred Louis's appetite. But thankfully, in capturing Louis, and regaining our food, we were able to find our rubber ducky. But Alpha is ever steadfast on the mission at hand. We need to find the cosmic drive key. And Louis does not have it. So Captain Alamar is still out there. We will still have to go find him. And as we're about to learn, there's only one more place he could possibly be. So the four original locations that we've been gathering fruit, no Captain Olimar, we found a Louis. But this island, in the middle of this ocean, is the formidable oak. That's the final area of the game with no fruit, just the final challenge. And according to Louis, that's where Captain Olimar might be. Now. We're not going to do that yet, because we want to clear out all of the original locations of all the fruit. And the second location of the game, which will be our first of our fruit gathering montage. Not really a montage, I mean, it's just episodes, but is going to be here, the Distant Tundra. Where I'm at, I'm kind of in the middle of fall right now, which is really nice. It's starting to get a little chilly. It's going to look like a distant tundra before too long. So first things first, we got five fruit to collect today. And our first one is going to be here. There is a little challenge here. If I could get him to pop up, because I know you're up there. There he is. All right. So use your rock Pikmin. And have them get him out of the way. They won't just by default because they're not very smart. So hopefully I have at least... Okay, so let's carry carry this guy out of the way. We're not really trying to collect any pellets or proliferate any Pikmin today. The real goal is just to get the fruit. So we're going to try to focus. The one thing that's kind of annoying, though, about these areas of the game is that you're going to, like, this episode in particular, which you'll hopefully all notice, is that it, it gets kind of hectic with what we're trying to do. There's just a lot of, like, stuff in the way. A lot of things that make carrying... Oh my gosh. Pikmin. There we go. Yeah, this is just kind of the... One of the mild annoyances is like... The, the Pikmin AI isn't great. And they're going to get distracted. And they're going to want to carry... You know... The creatures back and all that stuff. Like, I don't want them to do that. We need to focus on the mission at hand. Getting more fruit. Because we're going to get all of them today. All the remaining ones, at least. Which is really nice. So we can go ahead and put our rock Pikmin back and we're going to grab some winged Pikmin. We're just going to do this all kind of in like one group. I don't really need to split up in the way that I had been before. So that's one fruit down. Our next fruit is going to be this lemon. So we're going to pop over to the area where the spicy spray berries are. And that's where we first fought the joust mites. And going around here, we bring it around town. We can sneak past this spicy spray pot. I don't remember... Oh. <laughs> well, apparently the game thought that I was trying to... whist Alpha Way in this area. But we just want to carry this lemon back. And what's nice about Winged Pikmin is that... They'll never have to worry about enemies on the ground, obviously. I mean, that's just kind of common sense, right? 
but you'll never have to worry about it, which is really nice, and it prevents you from having a bunch of headaches with ground level enemies trying to set you on fire or electrocute you, etc. So look, they're already back. They already beat us by taking that little shortcut. That's probably what I should have done, but I didn't. And there's little areas where you can have your winged Pikmin carry, um, carry stuff, open up the little gates and whatnot. You don't really need to do that. There is a fruit here in the water. We'll take our own little shortcut. And we'll head down here with our winged Pikmin. Yeah, and it's just really handy uh, having winged Pikmin. Now, your winged Pikmin usage right here is very situational. I don't know if they can attack these things. Okay, they can. Great. You have to be careful, though, because winged Pikmin, I did learn uh, the hard way, is they can still drown. So that's really frustrating. Their use right here in this moment, right here right now, is just to knock this down. Whistle them back immediately because your winged Pikmin, like I said, can drown. I learned that the hard way, and you don't want that. So we will head back to the Drake and we'll swap out for the blues. We're feeling a little melancholy today. I don't know where the remaining four got to. That's okay. I mean, it's not. I don't want my Pikmin to just needlessly die, but you know. We'll get 15 of the blues. And we will do okay. The next two fruits after the ones that I'm getting now, this is when things start to get a little dicey. Oh, they're like stuck in... <laughs> they're stuck in the cave, which is great. You love you love when that happens. I Oh, they're on top of it. Oh, goodness. Well, winged Pikmin, you are my favorite, but I never said you were the sharpest tools in the shed. So now that we have our blue Pikmin, we can go back and collect, I believe it's some sort of a tangerine. Hop back in the water here. Yeah, there's not really a ton that you have to do. Like, you can kind of solve the puzzles your own way. If you want to break up this entire area and 100% it and, you know, move all around and unlock all the gates and paths and whatnot, you can do that. There's nothing saying you can't. I mean, you can play this game however you want to. As we run into the shocking thing. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Okay. Well, I suppose that... I suppose that works. I wasn't expecting that to happen, actually, but... It just stopped shocking, like, at the right moment, so... I guess we got lucky, but there's this one here. Oh boy. Um... You know what? I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit this time. I'm actually just gonna take him out. Should be... 15 should be enough Pikmin to... All right. So that makes me feel a little better. Now we can go back to the tangerine, tangerine. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, we're going to carry back these. I don't even know what these are. Weird water bug things, water skaters, whatever those are called. And that's three fruit. I believe all the fruit except for one in this episode is citrus. I'm not entirely sure that's what the one fruit is that I'm thinking is, if it actually is citrus or not. Could be wrong. So we got some more blues, that's very nice. We'll go ahead and pluck those real quick. And I would, you know, I would split up and do things like in a more efficient way, but you know, we're getting kind of the the end of this let's play. There's no real reason to try to be too efficient. So the remaining fruit, one of which is in this area, and this is a huge pain in the buns. So I'll just go ahead and say that. Um, you're going to want some red Pikmin. You're going to want some yellow Pikmin. I don't know necessarily if blues are super good for this, but you're just going to want like a good amount of everything, like a good volume of Pikmin at this point, because there's a lot that happens in that small area that I just pointed out that is real frustrating. But hey, what's nice is like we're kind of doing the OG Pikmin here, the red, blue, yellow. So we'll go over this direction again and head back into one of the original caves we were in, which is nice. The area that we're headed to specifically, if you all remember, is where we pushed that big ball, the metal 20 ball, into this cave and opened it up. And this is where the area kind of expanded a bit. So use your reds, go ahead and dispatch the 
fire slugs. This is just more for your own sanity. I mean, you don't have to do this. You don't have to use reds. But I think it just makes your job easier and... Oh, I forgot winged Pikmin. Great! Great. So the only thing that you'll have now on the ground is that there are still these fire spurts that are very annoying. So just kind of work your way around those. And there's candy pop buds. So if you're into that, I don't know where Brittany or Charlie is. Okay, they're way back here. So we'll send them to the Drake and they can grab some winged Pikmin and meet us back. We only need 10 and that's just to open the gate just to make it easier. Although you could technically have um, your winged Pikmin be the ones to carry back what we're doing where we're trying to get past this gate. It might make it easier on you. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab we'll grab 15 wing Pikmin. And we'll have them come to where Alf is, which is uh here. I knew that. Just making sure you're all paying attention. And then Alf and Charlie or Alf, Charlie and Brittany will all be together again in a moment. And that should give us the rest of the day to... Well, you know what? Because I'm feeling vindictive, as I always do when I play Pikmin, we're going to kill this swooping snitch bug because I think they're jerks. And I think this is funny. So, yeah. How about that, guy? How'd that feel, chief? Buddy? Pal? Amigo? Anyway. Enough with... Passive-aggressive pet names. Use your winged Pikmin, open the gate, eventually, and whistle them off. We're actually going to want... There's a lot to do in this area, there's a lot to clear out. As you can see, there's a bunch of little, uh, little bull borbs, which are trying to eat our Pikmin, which we don't want that to happen. So we're going to try to clear these guys out first. Oh, and the winged Pikmin have shut us in, great. Guys, we're doomed! No, we're not. We'll be fine. Alright. So, next things next. We have the Fiery Blowhug. Which can be dispatched very quickly. That's easy. Your Red Pikmin, once again, are your fighters. So, don't forget to bring them along if you need to do that. And just slowly work your way around town. You're going to bring it around town. And we have uh, the Mama Bulborp here. Which is very creepy looking. I'm not entirely sure why it has lips like that, but I don't like it, and it makes me feel gross, so... It's also very fast. So if it could please quit it? Alright, we're at about half the day. Ooh, there's an alive one. He's hiding out in there. Not for long. Ah, uh, here you go. Bye, dead. Doesn't that feel great? You just pick on the little guys. Pick on somebody your own size, or like two thirds of your size, or whatever. I actually think the that wouldn't really make sense. These things are bigger than us, so they would be, you know, larger than larger than our Pikmin. But they're not stronger than our Pikmin. They're not harder, better, faster, or stronger. So for some reason, uh, it's going back here, and you can use the bomb rocks to blow it up, which I would love to do, but I can't get to them right this moment because I need to start digging out this fruit. Which you have to throw your Pikmin, like, actually at the, uh, at, like, the bottom of it. No, 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 no. Oh, you jerk. Well, that's not good. Don't worry, I will avenge you right now. Okay. And this area is just, is just a mess. Like, trying to deal with this and gather up your Pikmin while they're trying to dig out this fruit, whatever it is. It's just a mess. And this takes a while, like, I don't know why it takes so long to dig out this fruit, but it does. It takes a good, it takes a hot minute. And I guess this pick, oh, this bulborb, weird lippy bulborb pathing is just going to have it wander back and forth. Oh, did it? Oh, I thought it ate the fire there for a second. That was funny. No, don't eat my Pikmins. Oh my goodness, this is a... Stop eating my Pikmins. Get them, guys, get them. There we go. That's okay. We'll carry your corpse back. And basically everything is kind of situated where we should be okay to just whistle it all back, carry it through. 
All the little Pikmin are dead. Or not little Pikmin, all the little Bulborbs, why is that? All the little Bulborbs are dead. I mean, a lot of my Pikmin did die there, unfortunately. I think eight. But we should be okay. This is what, clearing it out. You know, take your time, clear it out. Move on through. And that is fruit number four. So we will head back to the Drake with those Pikmins. Carrying that large fruit. I don't know if we've collected that fruit in particular yet. Not entirely sure, but that's okay. We're just gonna head back to the Drake and switch up our combo of Pikmin here in a moment. And then we will finish out our day with a climactic clash. We actually do need more red Pikmin, so I guess there being the majority of reds there helps us to proliferate that. Could use some more reds, very good. Although I guess I could have had the reds carry the bull war, but that's okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and put back the yellows. Um, winged Pikmin aren't the most useful of this upcoming fight, but I mean, they're not horrible. So we'll spread everything out for a moment. We'll go ahead and pluck these Pikmin with all three of our captains. I love how fast that is, by the way. In the other game, you'd have to like really, you know, smash the button to try to get your Pikmin set up. All right, so we're gonna put back the rest of the yellows the rest of the reds, and we will grab the rest will be rocks. Actually, I'm gonna do some button mashing here in a moment. So we got some winged Pikmin, we got some blues, and we got some rocks, and the area that we're headed to is an area we haven't been to before. So the final area actually requires us to go to where we did the initial touchdown of Brittany when she got stuck and we had to meet up with her when she discovered her the yellows for herself. So we're gonna head to that area first and there might be something waiting for us. So here we go, back into the Cave of Wonders. And this is kind of annoying because I believe, oh, oh we just shocked a bunch of our Pikmin. Oh, they're not dead. Never mind, I thought they would die from that. I guess not. So, you have to- you can only use two of your captains in this fight, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mash the button here for a moment, and try to throw all of my 100 Pikmin up here. It would be nice to be able to use all of them. I don't think that you can, unless there's a way around. And if not, hey, you get to watch me hit the throw button 100 times, and that's fun, right? That's good, compelling gameplay. I need to actually hurry up though because we're running out of time and this boss fight, spoilers, this boss fight is going to take a bit. It does take, a, okay, well, those blue Pikmin will not be a part of this fight. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and engage it here quickly. You're gonna want to have a good mixture of Pikmins. Oh, okay. And once again, your rock Pikmins are going to win the day. They're the ones that can avoid being squished. Does our blue Pikmin get distracted? Stop it. So pull your rock Pikmin back and have them attack the legs. The one downside to this fight is that the Shaggy Long Legs, part two, is going to go into the water, which is really annoying. And the moment it does that, you can't really use your rock Pikmin anymore. So you're just gonna want to switch to your blues and take them with you into the water. If you need to pick up nectar in the meantime, you can. But yeah, it's gonna go into the water and be a huge turd burglar, as it does. But you still have to knock the hair off the knuckles. So use your blue Pikmin. Have Alf get stepped on. That's not cool. Have them knock the hair off of it. It does the same, the same, you know, kind of rinse and repeat here. And then we have to knock the Keep going with knocking the hair off until the bulb is exposed. It's nasty, thick bulb. You know, get your Pikmin all going with it. It's almost, it's almost done. It's got hair on a couple of its upper, upper knuckles. That's such a strange thing to say. It might be the weirdest thing I'll say today. But knowing at Mike Industries, we like to keep everybody on their toes. So, being unpredictable. Being predictably unpredictable is it's the best way to live your life. So go ahead and have your blues keep going. You can 
switch to, oh, not to Brittany, because Brittany is useless right now. Not in general as a person, but just right now. You can switch your rocks and have them keep trying to help out. I'm trying to see where we have the remaining hair. It's kind of tough because, oh, we're getting squished here. Oh, it's on this leg. So we'll have our Pikmin keep going. Oh boy. Oh, we're losing, we're losing, uh, we're losing lives here. And then we're gonna try to scoop up this spicy spray. We might as well while we're here. All right, the bulb is exposed. Great. This is where your pink Pikmin can come in handy. They can attack the bulb from any direction. Come on, guys, we're almost done. We can do it. I believe in us. Nope, don't, don't charge into the water. This is just kind of chaos right now. Absolute chaos because I'm hitting the wrong button and things are not going the way I needed to. Blue Pikmin, help. Nope, Rock Pikmin, do not drown. All right, the fight is done, so we'll whistle everybody back. We will have our blue Pikmin very quickly go and pick up the two halves of the star fruit as the other blue Pikmin get stuck on the geometry of the edge because they are the brightest bulbs in the bunch. Let's go ahead and rescue these guys. Okay, not too bad. We only lost three Pikmin in that fight, so that's not, not horrible. Pink's over here taking a nap. That's nice. Yeah, go back and... You know, you need to prolif proliferate your, your Pikmin if you want to go ahead and give some of them... Oh! Give some of them some nectar. Reward them for their hard work. That's fine. We're just about done here. Pikmin getting stuck in the cutscene. I love when that happens. And you should be okay just to have your Pikmin head back. I have Brittany. I don't know if we have any wayward Pikmin besides the... Ones that are carrying stuff. Because they're not technically in our command right now. I don't believe so. It looks pretty good. So we'll head back to the Drake. The safety circle of the Drake. Comforting. Alright, and we're running out of time here, so hopefully... They can get that fruit back. Okay, come on, where are you? Where is the fruit? I don't even know where it is. Let's peep it. Oh, they're so close, they're on the bridge. Hurry! We just need to charge all of our Pikmin and help have them help. Come on, you can do it. I believe in us. We're so close. Just get it to the Drake. Get that final, get that final fruit. Oh, this should count. Come on. Yes. That looks good and no Pikmin were lost. Oh, yeah. Man. Talk about cutting it close to the skin of our teeth, which is a disgusting phrase. And that, my friends, is 100% completion of the Distant Tundra. There are no more reasons to come back. So we did it. We're feeling pretty good. No more snacks for the gross-lipped bulborbs. I don't even know what they're called, but they're nasty and their eyes are gross, and I hate them. So we'll go ahead and take off into the safety of the atmosphere. And relish in our new fruits. And I believe we already have... We've already gotten all of these fruits at least once, because I don't see the the new tag popping up. And I believe that the the one big fruit that we had to dig out, I don't, I, I think I looked it up and it said it was like a Japanese pear, but I don't know if that's a thing. I'm assuming it is if they put in the game, but it just kind of looks like a grapefruit to me. So Japanese pear, maybe grapefruit, I don't know. But going forward with these episodes, another person, and, um, the rest of these episodes are just going to kind of be like this until we take on the final challenge. We're going to go and just be collecting all the remaining fruit, tackling any of those obstacles. We're going to make sure we collect everything before we go and do the final search for Captain Almar. Yeah, the astringent clump, so maybe it's a pear, maybe it's a, a grapefruit, I don't know. But thankfully we were able to collect everything in the nick of time. Final two fruit from the distant tundra, our reward for beating the shaggy long legs, the star fruit. The stellar extrusion. I love that name, by the way. Looks great. Never had star fruit. I have no idea what it would taste like. It looks cool. It's neat that 
you know, it looks like that. I, I don't know if, like, because, like, that's not what a star looks like, you know, if we think about the sun being a star. So, clearly the star fruit must have been discovered before the sun was discovered, because we named stars after that. So we have 67. And we have to ration a little bit. Brittany is not happy. But she is going to take a little jab at Charlie. That's okay. And we have 66 now after sharing. So we're doing really well with Juice. Day 21 was another success. Had some casualties today, unfortunately, but we also grew our Pikmin as well. So moving forward, we're going to check out our journal entry from Brittany, and then we will call it a day. Careful observation of the blue Pikmin has revealed that they have the ability to swim as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths is so cute, but I think that's their way of extracting oxygen from the water. There appear to be openings on their cheeks that resemble gills. Signed, Brittany. Wow, Brittany, thanks. Thanks for being like three or four episodes too late. But anyway, we'll now be rewarded with our save screen. The completion of the Distant Tundra has been accomplished today. Good job, everybody. So thanks for watching. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye!